welcome to South Asia Today, a show that provides you the glimpses of South Asia. I'm your host, Shivangi Mishra. Let's begin with the headlines first. New police post inaugurated in India's Rahmu town to enhance security and safety. JCB offers special promotions in Hokkaido. And protests against Tooch administration in POK continue and activists shed light on prevailing state of affairs. In order to bolster community safety and security in Rahmu area of Pulwama district, the Jammu and Kashmir police has inaugurated a new police post. The move has garnered widespread praise from locals who see the post as a beacon of security and a symbol of closer ties between police and their community. The new police post will not only enhance security but also foster a sense of safety and well-being among the residents of Ramu area. Take a look. The Jammu and Kashmir police have inaugurated a new police post at Ramu in the border district of Pulwama. The significant step towards bolstering community safety will not only help reduce crime rate in the area but also strengthen trust between locals and the police forces. The Director General of Jammu and Kashmir Police, R.R. Swain, along with police officers and locals gathered in the inauguration ceremony in support of the initiative taken at the border district. यहाँ एक पुलिस स्टेशन, छोटा सा पुलिस स्टेशन पहले एक छोटा सा पोस्ट हुआ करता था, उसकी अपग्रेडेशन होने के बाद पुलिस स्टेशन बनी है, और इसकी इनाग्रेशन के सिलसिले में हम आए थे, और लोगों से मुखातिब हुए, उनसे मिले, उनसे गुफ्तगु हुई, उनकी बातें सुनी, और हम अपनी बातें भी कहने के लिए एक the police post is anticipated to bolster security in the region and provide a tangible sense of safety for the residents of Ramu. The residents were elated with the development and assured a collective participation in the welfare and security of the region. इलाके की देरी ना डिमांड थी कि इस इलाके में पर्टिकुलर इस गांव में एक पुलिस पोस्ट कायम किया जाए क्योंकि ये ये इलाका जो है ये मरकजी हिस्सेत रखने वाला गांव है रोहमु गांव है और इसके आसपास में जितने भी गांव हैं कहीं न कहीं उनमें भी खुशी के लहर नजर आ रही है क्योंकि जो ड्रग मैनस the police post is said to not only enhance security but also foster a sense of safety and well-being among Ramu's residents. The government and the security forces are steadfast in bringing development to even the remotest corners of the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Ramu police post in Pulwama has become a beacon of security and a symbol of closer ties between police and their community. Moving on, exploring Japan is made even more enticing. And if we talk about Japanese companies, they have been actively pursuing progress and innovation in various fields to stay competitive in the global market. Recently, JCB introduces a dedicated website tailored for foreigners, offering an array of exclusive attractions and benefits. On the other side, Japanese company Yamaha is making waves with its commitment to decarbonization. At the Japan International Boat Show, Yamaha prominently showcases its mission to contribute to the greener future. Hokkaido Island in Japan attracts around 27 million foreign visitors annually. Tourists from various countries such as the USA, Australia and Canada are lured to Hokkaido to experience the unique charm of each season. Recently, the Japanese credit card company JCB has introduced attractions and benefits on a dedicated website for foreigners visiting Hokkaido. Visitors can also discover the rich history, vibrant handicrafts and dynamic natural landscapes of Hokkaido, including iconic landmarks like Goryeo Kaku Tower and more. Hokkaido's hospitality spans the vast island, offering tourists diverse experiences throughout their visit. 
私たち JCB は北海道においても会員様により快適で便利な旅行を楽しんでもらえるようなコンテンツの提供に努めております今回2023年10月から2024年3月末まで北海道を中心としてさまざまな加盟店様に協力いただき優待提供をいたしました70の店舗様30の加盟店様と一緒にご協力しまして JCB ならではのスペシャルなサービスの提供に努めてまいりました今回の北海道キャンペーンが好評だったためキャンペーン終了後も JCB 海外会員様に楽しく快適な旅行をしていただけるようなキャンペーン作りに取り組んでいきたいと考えております Convenient transportation is vital for enjoying a tour of Hokkaido given its diverse attractions and unpredictable weather conditions. From Shinchito's airport, the main gateway to Hokkaido, to Sapporo, the island's larger city, travelers have several transportation options available. Rental cars play a significant role in transportation for tourists exploring Hokkaido. Each car is equipped with snow tires. As a safety measure in case of snowfall, Shiroi Koibito is a renowned suite that symbolizes fame and is known as the White Lover. Many tourists visit the factory to experience its charm firsthand. The factory has been upgraded to serve as a tourist attraction, drawing a large number of visitors. The door has been opened. The Minbando customers have also. ある程度少しずつ増えてきておりまして、その時に JCB 様からお声かけいただきまして、何か一緒にご協力ができないかというところで、あのシルクドパークにある飲食店舗2店舗で JCB カードを使われたお客様にサービスをするということをさせていただいております。JCB's hospitality encompasses all the amenities of the vast Hokkaido Island. Through its partnerships and initiatives, JCB strives to elevate. The travel experience for tourists visiting Hokkaido from around the globe. Japanese company Yamaha prioritizes its mission of contributing to decarbonization, prominently showcased at the Japan International Boat Show in Yokohama City. Here, the company introduced environmentally protective personal watercraft. featuring components made from flax plants these components serve as an alternative to traditional glass fiber components retaining the distinct pattern of flax while contributing to environmental protection efforts amazon につきましてはカーボンニュートラルへの貢献を狙って取り組んでおりますアマセインの使用は初の試みであり今後開発が進めばさらに大きな部品への適用や最終的にはボート全体に環境材料を適用することを目指しています開発評価段階でまだ販売は未定ですが環境への貢献を目指して取り組んでまいります Another innovation involves the installation of cellulose nanofiber reinforced resin as an engine part developed in cooperation with the paper company This marks the first instance of such installation in a transportation machine. え、水上オートバイのこの中に新型のエンジンが搭載しております。こちらが15年ぶりに新設計として投入しました新しいハイアウトプットエンジンになります。こちらのこのエンジンカバーの部分の黒い部分、こちらに。当社の新しい新素材である木質素材から取り入れたセルロースナノファイバー強化樹脂を使った新しいバイオマス素材こちらが使われております2050年のカーボンニュートラルに向けて植物由来の強化樹脂を使うことによって大気中の CO2 を閉じ込めて結果的にはカーボンニュートラルに寄与する形になります従来の素材と比べて 25% 以上軽量化ができておりましてセルロースナノファイバー自身は鉄の5倍の強度を持っております。将来的にはですね、まあ水上オートバイだけじゃなくて、バイクだったり、まあ他の商材にもですね、今後展開していくたいというふうに思っております。ヤマハ made a significant and practical contribution to environmental conservation at this boat show. 
leading the charge in decarbonization efforts both on land and in the water. Yamaha is setting the standard for sustainable practices in the industry. Now we take a look at some happenings in Asia in a segment called Asia Watch. In Baghdad's green zone, a heavily fortified legacy from Iraq's war-torn years, the glitzy Qatar Finance Rixos Hotel is taking shape, highlighting growing investment interest from Gulf Arab states. The government of Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Al Sudani hopes to host Gulf Arab monarchs and other Middle Eastern emissaries in Rixos Baghdad's 470 luxury rooms and suits when they arrive for a planned Arab League summit next year. His government has been pushing for more investment from the region for an economy ravished by decades of war and instability, but which is benefiting from record oil revenues, helping to spur demand for consumer goods from its rapidly growing population of at least 43 million. OPEC member Iraq has seen relative calm since defeating Islamic State in 2017, although there has been sporadic violence including among ruling Shiite Muslim factions and more recently attacks from Iran-aligned groups. The country's top trade partners are currently China, Iran and Turkey. However, Gulf Arab states, which have had a complicated relationship with Iraq, have pledged a string of investments as they seek to grow soft power in a country where regional rival Iran has unparalleled influence via a powerful network of allies. This has been partially enabled by a detent in ties between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Thousands marched with flares to the residence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu this week in Jerusalem to protest his government and exemptions granted to ultra-Orthodox Jewish men from military service. Protesters scuffled with security forces who tried to prevent them from advancing closer to Netanyahu's residence while some were arrested. Protest groups including some that led the mass demonstrations that rocked Israel in 2023 organized the rally outside parliament, the Neset, calling for a new election to replace the government. The protesters also want a more equal share in the burden of army service that binds most Israelis. Netanyahu's cabinet has faced widespread criticism over the security failure of the Hamas attack on southern Israel, in which 1,200 people were killed and more than 250 taken hostage to Gaza. Residents cleaned up debris around their houses in the northern Israeli town of Shlomi last week after the area near the border with Lebanon was hit by rockets. The Israeli Defense Forces issued a statement Thursday evening that they intercepted launches crossing from Lebanon territories into northern Israel throughout the day. Israel and Hezbollah have also been trading fire across Lebanon's southern border in the biggest escalation since they fought a month-long war in 2006, as Hezbollah has tried to show its support for Hamas with volleys of rockets into Israel. About a dozen Israeli troops and a half a dozen civilians have been killed in northern Israel, while nearly 270 Hezbollah fighters and 50 civilians including medics, civilians and journalists have been killed in the Israeli strikes on southern Lebanon. The illegally occupied territory of POK is simmering with anger against Pakistan's deployed Prime Minister Chaudhry Anwar ul Haq. There has been a growing resentment among the people of POK against the current regime. The continuous protests against inflation, load shedding, scarcity of food are the indicators of palpable discontent among the residents. An activist shedding light on the prevailing state of affairs lambasted the stooge administration of POK and affirmed that the people in POK will continue their fight for their rights and justice.
We have a report. The simmering anger against the Stooge administration in Muzaffarabad is manifesting into widespread protests across the illegally occupied territory. Decades of no development and continuous exploitation by Pakistan's puppet administration have left the general public in POK disgruntled. Shedding light on the state of affairs in POK, an activist who has been constantly following Pakistan's tactics to subjugate the residents of POK, condemned the ministers who make false claims of development in the region. अब इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की शदीद मजम्मत करते हैं फैसला इंशाला ताला आवाम करेगी अब चौधरी अनवर कश्मीर एक साथ किसी कीमत पे नहीं चल सकते और ये वजीर कहते हैं डेवलपमेंट हुई है ग्यारह महीने हो गए भाइयों मुजफ्फराबाद के अंदर एक ही प्रोजेक्ट है जो फारूक हैदर खान साहब के दौरे हुकूमत में शुरू हुआ शाह सुल्तान वो अल्लाह ने किया जाके मुकम्मल हुआ बाकी बताइए कहाँ है सी एम एच का ड्रामा सेंटर कहाँ है टू हंड्रेड बेड्स मैन वजरा से पूछता हूँ जो आज चेक रहे थे किसी के कहने पर The activist blamed the so-called Prime Minister of POK, Chaudhry Anwarul Haq, for ravaging the resources in POK and making fake promises of development and growth of the region. The activist reaffirmed his support for the residents who have been continuously protesting against the administration and fighting for their rights and justice in the region. आपने मुजफ्फराबाद के इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स खत्म कर दिए इसके जो मंसूबा जाते हैं आपने खत्म कर दिए और आप मुजफ्फराबाद के और कश्मीर के लोगों को क्या सुनाए रहे सपने बताने सत्रह अठारह दिन आप सोए रहे ख्वाब गफलत में और अब आप जागे इन ये नहीं होगा फैसला अल्लाह के फजलो करम से आवाम ने करना है और कश्मीर की आवाम अब किसी मीर जाफर और मीर सादक गुरु का जो है साथ दे देगी और कश्मीर की आवाम इन एक फैसला कौन हतमी जंग लड़ेगी अपने अख्तियार वकार तशखर वैदत For the last several months the illegally occupied territory has witnessed a slew of protests against the stooge administration of Pakistan load shedding inflation wheat flour shortages and absence of medical and educational infrastructure constantly perturb the residents however the local administration pays no heed to public concerns but never misses a chance to make fake promises and claims of development India and Nepal celebrates a number of festivals throughout the year which is a true manifestation of its rich culture and traditions whether it be it Hindu Muslim or Christian festival every occasion is celebrated with great merriment across both the countries This was recently observed during the occasion of Easter Sunday as Christians from across the country commemorated the festival with much joy and enthusiasm. Christians thronged churches across India to celebrate Easter Sunday to honor Jesus Christ's resurrection from his grave after being crucified. Observed as a sign of new beginnings and hope, Easter is celebrated to confess one sin and ask for forgiveness. Easter Sunday, followed by Good Friday and then Easter, are significant events in the Christian culture that mark the journey of Jesus Christ. Christians performed prayer meetings and took out processions in churches across India. Moreover, priests read out verses from holy scriptures while worshippers lit candles to commemorate the auspicious day. We celebrate the Easter by donating things to the poor and by celebrating the masses in the church and by cleaning our heart by confessing our sins. According to the Bible, when Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey, the crowd greeted him by waving olive branches and by covering the path and route with olive and palm branches. Thousands of Nepali Christians are also immersed in the festivities with mass prayer and rally to observe the resurrection of Jesus Christ the Easter Sunday. They flock to Brikuti Mandap, a common ground to hold conventions and exhibitions to take part in the valley-wide resurrection festival.
हजार आज विशेषगरी आज प्रभु ईशु रेजुरेक्शन हो दिन हो अर्थ पुनरुत्थान हो दिन हो अभी विशेषगरी आज सारा संसार का मानव जाति को लगी वहाँ से आने भो रु रईबल में लेखे जैसे तेसरो दिन में वहाँ बौरी उठन भग रज को दिन चाहे हमी बौरी उठन भग अभी विश्वास कर सौ बाइबल में लेखी का कुछ हम विश्वास कर सौ अभी वहाँ को बौरी उठाई को उपलक्ष्य में हम विभिन्न कार्यक्रम करते वहाँ को महिमा प्रशंसा र प्रभु ईश्वर को बारे में इसो को हो रहा आने विषय में हमी मानस सुसंदेश रूप में बताने गर्स Easter is a time of renewal, hope and the triumph of light over darkness. It's a reminder of the power of love and the promise of new beginnings. The Holy Week, which begins from Palm Sunday and ends on Easter Sunday, marks the last week of Lent, a period of 40 days which comes before Easter in the Christian calendar, commemorating Christ's 40 days in the wilderness, traditionally a time of fasting and reflection. The festival celebrated around the world also marks an auspicious moment to anticipate, meditate and reflect upon oneself. Now it's time for me to wrap up today's episode. We'll be back next week at the same time. This is Shivangi Mishra signing off on behalf of the entire production team of South Asia today. Goodbye and take care.